Hello everyone, Chapman Cena here, and today I'm finishing up the networking part of my Debian training videos. And um, today I'm going to be speaking about dual NIC setup, some static routes, and um, some final some final networking uh, related settings. Now, your server may need a second NIC if you're doing load balancing, um, NIC teaming, or uh, say that your network re is a web server. So your server is a web server and it sits on a DMZ and a LAN, uh, you'll want, let's say, a dual NIC. It's also good for redundancy too, I suppose. You have two NICs. Um, if one should die or if a port on a switch goes bad, your server could still be reachable. Um, so whatever the reason is, you may be asked one day to set up uh, a second NIC on Debian or, um, or any Unix box for that matter. Sorry, Linux box for that matter. Um, so this this is pretty much the same for all. This is pretty much the same for all distributions. Okay, so I've added a second NIC to my um, to my virtual machine. Okay, now in Windows, right? If you in, if you add a second network adapter to Windows, um, a server and the desktop, the client OSs the um, the server creates the adapter and pretty much it's already set to normally DHCP now Unix does 90% of that um, it installs the adapter the the adapters already there drivers already there but it doesn't set it up to DHCP or anything it just it just uh, has no config at all so what you got to do is go in and set the config so as perfect example, I have two NICs and only one right now is showing up. Okay, so what we can do is go to the same the same uh, process that we did to set up our static IP for ETH zero and you're going to what you can do is a shortcut is just copy the config that we created for ETH zero and just paste it below that config and change auto etho zero to etho one and then you can change the address the static IP address for that particular adapter control O control X now, now we have to restart the networking service. So you can do service networking reload. Okay, and then just hit enter. Okay, do not do service networking restart. There's a known bug with that. And sometimes what happens is, is that the adapter doesn't, uh, the adapter gets hung. Okay, so if you do IF config, Okay, it didn't come up. So what we'll do is sometimes this happens where um, doing a reload didn't act, doesn't actually um, restart the entire network service. So we'll do service networking stop and service networking start. Okay, that forces this. That forces the. Um, server to actually stop the service and restart the service okay and now we'll see eth1 is there okay so in the so this is why i don't edit my videos <laughs> so perfect learning experience is that you always have to know sometimes two ways of doing things because the service networking reload normally works for me but sometimes you have to do things uh the long way so um, service networking stop and service networking start uh, did the trick here started the the network adapter so now we have a dual NIC setup so um, when you go out and say ping 4.2.2.2 now you can select what adapter you want so I can do ETH0 and you'll see what the source IP 
of 192.168.1.150 to 4.2.2.2. And if I do ETH1, you'll see that it will say 1.161. Um, the reason why this isn't working is that I, I got to make some changes to my virtual machine. Um, I think right now it's set to uh, internal mode. So you get the picture. Um, so now we have a, the dual NIC setup. Okay. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll move on to, uh, to static routes and why you would need a static route. So just give me one quick minute here. Okay, so now we're, s we're going to speak about static routes. Now, um, we'll check right now first what routes this server knows about. Now, in order to do that, it's simple, just type in route. And now you'll see that the server it knows two networks. Okay, one is the 192.168.1.0 network on ETH0 and 192.168.1.0 network on ETH1. The default gateway for both networks is 192.168.1.254. Now, sometimes uh, you'll have a network that, for instance, 1.254 may know about more networks than the 192.168 network. So sometimes you want a static route to, to add a static route so you can communicate with, let's say, 10.10.10.10 network. So in order to do this, you do IP route add 10.10.10.0. And then you can put the CIDR slash 24 via 192.168.1.254. Device. ETH zero. Okay, so what you've essentially told the server to do is add a route for 10.10.10.0 network with a 24 bit subnet mask, and the default gateway that will know about this network is 192.168.1.254, and send that traffic out ETH zero. You actually don't have to um, put the device is just uh, is just something that I do. Uh, if I change this twenty ten dot ten dot ten dot zero, and don't put the device, it's same thing. So if I do route, I can see here that um, my ten dot ten dot ten dot zero network and twenty dot ten dot ten dot zero network is showing up here. Okay, so that's how you add a static route. Now it's the same uh, same thing. So let's say you have two static. You know, um, see right now it's not really um, the this example only uses uh, assumes that I have two networks that are connected to the same network. No, sorry, two network adapters connected to the same network. Uh, say that ETH one resided on the 10.0.0.0 network okay so it's on the 10 network I want all the traffic any traffic that I want to you know I want to reach a device on the 10.10 network I can just say okay go out e ETH1 because that's the only NIC um, that knows about the 10.10 network uh, and it leaves the server from having to guess <coughs> So that's static routing. Um, I've given you a couple of examples of why you need a static route. Uh, I would suggest reading the man page, so man IP route. And this will tell you all of the options the, the IP route command does. Um, and all that you have here. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to finish up uh, the networking part of uh, of the videos um, by talking about sysctl, so system control. So you can go to cd slash etc slash sys. Um, so cd slash uh, etc and then nano sys 
sysctl.conf. Now, sysctl.conf um, is a file that is added in uh, in your Unix system, and pretty much we have some network security options here, like things like don't allow ICMP, um, don't allow ICMP redirects, stuff like that. So what you can do here is add um, is add certain policies to prevent, let's say. Uh, you're not you can't ping the server or stuff like that this is more of a network security option so maybe I will talk about this more in the once we start talking about security um, but this is a part of networking as well because there are some network related things uh, in here okay so we'll talk about actually we'll talk about more of this uh, once I start releasing the videos on security Okay, so I hope this video helps you uh, get better grasp of networking with Debian. Um, the next video we'll start talking about users and groups and, um, and uh, we'll move on from there. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. You can visit my website, seanmancini.com. And if you have any questions, uh, you can also email me, seanmancini2010 at gmail.com. Speak with you guys soon. Thank you.